Good morning. Chapter 5, Lesson 10 is on page 247. Today we're going to be multiplying binomials and we're going to be using these special products. And I have these rules set up on the right-hand side. And we'll talk about those first before we start into these two problems. If we have special products and it's a plus b times a minus b, notice 1 is a plus and 1 is a minus, all we have to do is square the first term, square the second term, and subtract. That's this first rule. Okay. Rule number two, if we have a binomial and all we do is square it and there are plus signs in between the two terms, we square the, second, the first term, we square the second term, we multiply the two terms together, a times b, and then we multiply that entire thing times two. Rule number three, if we are squaring uh, two terms and there's a minus sign in between them, we do the same thing as in rule number two, we square the first term, we square the second term. We multiply the two terms together in the middle and multiply those by two with a minus sign in front. The easiest way to do this is going to be just to memorize these special products so that we can use these rules simply in trying to figure out how to multiply binomials. Let's take a look at number 19. And in number 19, we notice that we have an A term, we have an A term, we have a B term, we have a B term, and we're having one with a plus and one with a minus. Let me just put those in here. We can consider this the A, and here it is again. We can consider this the B, and here it is again. And you'll notice that we have a plus sign, and we have a minus sign. So we're going to use rule number one, because we have a plus sign, and we have a minus sign. So this tells us to square the first term, so that's minus 6t, and we're going to square it. And it says put a minus sign, and it says now take the second term and square it as well, which means take that s and square it. So don't forget, minus 6t times minus 6t is 36t squared. Put that minus sign and then square s squared, which is just s squared. So our answer turns out to be using our special products, 36t squared minus s squared. Remember, all you do is look for the a, look for the b, see which, two, uh, which of these three rules you're going to use. Let's try number 39. Number 39, again, we have, this is the a, here's the a again, here's the b, which is one-fifth, here's the b, and this time we have two minus signs. We have a minus and we have a minus. So we're going to look over here and we're going to say, hmm, which one should we use? I think we should probably use rule number three. Both of them are separated by a minus sign. So this formula tells us, first thing we're going to do is we're going to square the first term, a squared. Let me write that down. So we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's plug in the stuff that we got now. So this means take 2x, square it, minus 2 times a, which is 2x, times b, which is a fifth. Don't worry about the sign, s-i-g-n. All we're doing is using our formula, plus, and then take that b, which is a fifth, and square it as well. Let me do that one more time. The a term is 2x, the b term is 1 fifth. We're going to use formula number 3. So we're going to square the a, that's 2x squared. We're going to multiply it minus 2 times a times b. a is 2x, b is a fifth. And then we're finally going to square the last term or that b term. So if we do this, we come out with 2, I'm sorry. Let's make sure we do this right, huh? 2x times 2x is 4x squared. We're going to multiply across here. We end up with minus 2 times 2 is 4 times x is 4x times 1 divided by 5 is 4x over 5. And then we're going to square 1 fifth, which turns out to be 1 25th. Remember, 1 fifth times 1 fifth is 1 in our numerator and 25 in our denominator. We take 2x, we square it, that gives us 4x squared. We multiply everything in the middle term, 2 times 2 times x times 1 is 4x, and we have 
denominators of 1, if we need those, we could put those in here. 1 times 1 times 5. And then we finally square the B term, or 1 25th. So there's our answer. 4x squared minus 4x divided by 5 plus 1 25th. Thanks so much. See you all tomorrow.